Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your April the 19th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. The title of the meditation for today, let's see here. Okay, the title of the meditation for today is Finding Self-Acceptance with the Serenity Prayer. So let's get a look at that and see. We learn to live with our frailties and imperfections. Oh, I like that title. Living Clean, Chapter One, A Vision of Hope. Many of us have ideals in our head of what we think we should be. These ideals may come from our families, friends, society, our religious backgrounds, and countless other influences. It's a little uncomfortable when our images of who we think we are and who we think we should be don't match. Getting to a place of self-acceptance when these pictures don't align can be challenging. The serenity prayer is a big help here. There are some things about ourselves we may never be able to change. If we're a lot shorter or taller than most of the people we know, wishing or praying to be an average height isn't likely to do much. But talking through our discomfort with our sponsor or others we trust, we can begin to make peace with our height. Then, of course, there are the qualities we are okay with, but others around us aren't. I had a sense of humor that usually involved making someone the butt of the joke, one member wrote. I kept hurting people, but I thought that if they would just get thicker skin, things would be fine. My sponsor suggested that I find ways to joke without hurting people. I was mad at first. But I worked on my sense of humor and people don't look at me like I'm such an arse all the time now. <laughs> Hate it when they put cuss words in here. <laughs> Part of accepting our frailties and imperfections comes in finding the wisdom to know the difference between what we must accept and what we can change. That's just who I am is an excuse we no longer need for harmful behavior. Talking with other addicts and connecting with our higher power can help us continue to grow into the people we want to be. Some parts of who I am are here to stay, while other aspects may need a little work. I will use the serenity prayer to aid in my self-acceptance. I like that, the serenity prayer to aid in my self-acceptance. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Self-acceptance with the serenity prayer. I like that. There are things about myself that I cannot change. I have always been a person that woke up at the crack of dawn because I've always had insomnia. I wake up very, very early and I start rearranging things, moving things around, making my atmosphere more comfortable. So it's very common for me to wake up and before you know it, I've changed the whole living room. I've changed my office. Uh, it's also very common for me to wake up with this spiritual, happy, joyful mood, regardless to what is really going on in life, it just seems to be a part of my personality, right? To, to be positive. So those things, even though sometimes they make other people uncomfortable, I just learned to keep it to myself early in the morning. Like I don't go waking my husband up and say, babe, it's a beautiful day. Let's do the meditation. No, he, he is not going for that because by the time I'm waking up, he is actually going to sleep. True story here. He has insomnia as well. So I usually am not going to sleep until a couple hours before I know I need to be awakened, right? He will use headphones to be able to listen to the television and I will use a 
eye mask so that I am not bothered by the lights. And that is how we blend the situation with our different hours for our insomnia, right? It's just a mild adjustment, a small adjustment that I feel that we both can make. Now, someone else may be struggling with something else out there. There's something about yourself that you truly don't like and you can change it. For instance, let me give you my own experience. Um, I am more round than I am tall and strong. (laughs) So I need to be in the gym. I need to be stepping more. I need to work out more. I need to increase my metabolism more. And I need to dial back my popcorn intake because these are just carbs and they're not useful in any other way than fiber. So there's some changes that I can use the serenity prayer to help me make. The courage to change the things that I can. So now it's your turn. Leave me a comment down below. What is it that you need to have self-acceptance about? And what is it you can use the serenity prayer to help you manifest that? As well as the changes that you need to make. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I've enjoyed your company today. Need to get to these boys. Have a beautiful day on purpose.